Hey guys, this is Ray Regno with Movement Rx, and this is Dr. Claudia Jelena. We're going to talk about uh, strengthening your lats for those of you who are upper strap dominant. Okay, for those of you who have weak lats, a lot of times you're going to rely more on your traps to stabilize your shoulder, and so that's not a good thing. We want to be able to support our scapula from the top and from the bottom. So specifically, we're going to be looking at the pull up, the dip, and also the muscle up, and as well the handstand push up. So these drills are also going to be helpful for those that are trying to learn some scapular awareness. So if you have a hard time kind of realizing where your shoulder blade is in space, these are great drills for that as well. Now the first one we're going to be talking about is the pull up, um, talking about those scat pulls. So you guys might have done these with maybe some of your workouts and uh, warm ups with classes. So what we want is activation of the shoulder, kind of going from that dead hang position of the shoulder to activating those shoulders, okay? This is gonna help us um, with injury prevention and also be stronger with our pull-ups. Okay, so what Claudia's gonna do is she's gonna hop up onto the bar. And you'll notice here, I'm just gonna have her go into a passive hang where her biceps are in her ears. She's just hanging there, There's not, she's not pulling at all. And now what she's gonna, she, she's gonna do is she's gonna keep her arms straight and pull herself up from the lats there and retracting her scapula so now her scapula comes down and back and then she if she relaxes you can see her biceps are in her sides and now she's going to pull back down keeping those arms straight and she's going to go back down and notice too from the side that she stays straight up and down as she pulls through what we don't want to see is her pulling back and closing that shoulder angle we want to keep that shoulder as open as possible okay so that's the first piece so now we're going to go into that dip slash muscle up position I'm um, talking about how to control your shoulder with that position and keep it healthy. Okay, so Claudia's gonna hop up on a box, and just to show you that she's not cheating, her feet are off the ground. And what we wanna do is we wanna maintain her shoulder blades down and back. So from here, she's gonna keep her arms straight, and then she's gonna shrug her shoulders up, and what she's doing is she's elevating her scapula. And then she's gonna press back down to depress that scapula, and then she's gonna go back up again or down again, and then back up again. Super important is that she's keeping these shoulder blades here pinned back. We don't want them to roll forward like that. That's an ugly position. Even worse, if she were to do that in a dip, see how that shoulder head is rolling forward and front and the front looks kind of scary. See that? What we want to do is we want to pull those shoulder blades down and back, and then let's show them the dip again. So that's a nice, good position. Go into the ugly position. Yeah, not okay there. So pull the shoulder blades down and back. There, that's a much safer position for that dip. Okay? From another angle, showing you from the very front, from the front side, just gonna hop up there. She's gonna shrug her shoulders up, moving straight down, and then she's gonna depress the scapula. One more time, coming down. So this motion going upward is kind of relaxed. So I'm just allowing my shoulders to move upward as far up as I can, and then actively pressing through the boxes to get my shoulder blades down and back. The final thing we're going to look at is the handstand. What we see um, a lot in people who are trying to learn how to stand on their hands is that they don't press through the floor actively, and that's how they start getting these icky positions upside down. And it's not very stable. So I'm going to take off my shirt, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay? Um, Woohoo! There you go. All right, so from here, as I'm pressing up, what I wanna do is I wanna press to the floor as high as I can, getting my biceps in my ears, which is kind of the opposite of what we did when we um, were in the, the hanging position. So the active position is pressing through, getting my biceps in my ears, and the relaxed position is falling through straight down to this position. This is not a stable position for the shoulder. So instead of being saggy here, we wanna elevate to the scapula, right there, pressing through the floor. Okay, one more time, I'm gonna come back down, and then press through. All right, so we went through some different mobilization, uh, mobilizations. No, we didn't do any No, we didn't do any mobilizations. We did, All right. we did drills. <laughs> we All right. did drills. So we went through some drills to help you guys out with your dip, muscle up position, your pull up, and your handstand to be more stable with your shoulder, and to bring some awareness to where your shoulder is in space, and to get better results with those movements. So have fun with it guys and check back in again. See you next time.